Hey guys, Vulture here. Um, so we only got to do the friendship with uh, Undyne last time. I was one attack away from winning this fight. I did not know that. And I wish I, I think I had one more Cinnabon too. So, let's, uh, I don't know if you guys even heard me because I didn't have a mic up. So yeah, uh, we got Undyne last time as a friend, but we were one attack away from defeating Mucketeer. Um, let's go.
Jesus Christ, we finally did it. Well, damn. This took forever. Jesus Christ, that took way too long. See you a lot next time, dearie. Oh no. So before we do that, I'm going to go get some, uh, I'm going to go save, because I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're going to Metaton again. And it's a... I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, Romeo and Juliet situation. Is that so? And it may- the- the scenery makes me think of Cinderella, um, in Rapunzel. Rapunzel with the vine and the stairs like Cinderella. Not to mention that dress is so... I wish I could leave, but people like you keep getting in my way. I mean, this is a good performance. I'll, I'll give him that. Except for that last part. Oh no. Oh no. What 
What the hell is this? I wish she was able to, like, you know. Jesus Christ. What? Flattery gets you everywhere with Alphys. She's a bumbling um, pile of embarrassment. Oh. She makes me think of, uh, I know it's like Big Bang Theory, but it's uh, it's the girl with the glasses. That's what she reminds me of. Can I have a saving point after all of that? I don't want all that dialogue. Okay, so there's that. I was literally one rim away. At least he's got business.
An empty gun for 350. Wow. I wish I could, uh. Okay. All right. Excuse me. <coughs> Woo! Allergies are flaring up today, guys. Seriously? This is how he met Toriel. He went to go practice knock knock jokes, and Toriel responds to it. So they're quite the jokesters together. So they basically became friends behind a door. Okay, so basically they do knock knock jokes and the one time she's not laughing and joking around is when our character comes through to uh, to do stuff and, and they, he makes a promise to not hurt me and to basically protect me. be dead were you stunned a big thing that I do like about uh, fan comics of this is uh, there's this one where basically Papyrus is the little brother and uh, the Easter egg uh, I'm trying to remember his name. Gaster, that's his name. Gaster's the father of the skeleton bros. And basically, they get hurt. And in this fan comic, basically, Sans uh, wants to kill any human that comes through the ruins um, to protect the friends and his family. And that line is, like, perfect for that kind of story. That if it weren't for Toriel, he would have totally murdered us straight up. <coughs> yeah, Toriel does. Woo! Some dust or something went up in my throat.
He might reminds me of Hellboy. From what I just heard, is there's gonna be a lot of puzzles in this score. His father. His ma What are we in Italian mafia? You see, my son, he asks where his father's been and his mother's been. So we're gonna be comedians together. He ran away, are you kidding me? I'm gonna go ahead and say that's just what, what just happened and who the heck are you? Wow. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. So you have to reserve everything at this fancy, fancy restaurant. Alright, I want to read what this guy says and then we're going to call it. So Manitoba has their own hotel. Wow. Welcome to the MTT Resort. Hotland's biggest department building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or you're still or you still live here, MTT Resort provides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice. MTT Resort provides itself on being passed through. MTT Hotel is the greatest of all time, even though you literally don't pay for shit unless it's the reservations. Greatest thing ever. Alright, well anyways. Um, it seems like there's... Uh, I'll, I'll finish... I'll finish talking to these people. Rack up some time for you guys. Okay. Okay. Ooh, do not, do not. Two hundred gold. I think that's an entire passive run. Oh no, never mind. I had like ninety-five before this, and I bought a lot more stuff. So it's kind of easy to get that. But you have to save up. Great. So this elevator. Um, is to the city and to the core. Alright. Well, I've talked to everyone in this room. And we beat... So, last part, we befriended Undyne. This time, we were able to beat, um, the spider lady. I forgot her name already. And we also talked to Sans, and we beat Metaton's puzzle. Now we're in the hotel, ready for next part. So, I hope I'm almost done. Um, actually, let me check on this for you guys. Just to make sure I, I, I have... Every time I do a gameplay, I always have a re, uh, an entire playthrough to make sure I know what I'm doing. Um... So, I do cheat here and there. But, other than that, not really. Oh, wow. Oh, we, we have, this seems two and a half. Wait, hold on. Let me see what I got. I went through a lot of stuff. Okay, they're in the hotel now. So, 
this run through this past this playthrough that I have on on my screen my not my screen my phone right now goes five hours and 37 minutes and 36 se seconds and as of my gameplay right now I am at their three hour nine minute and four second which is basically they just walked into here um, so I basically have less than two and a half hours to go so um, I, let's see, so they're at, technically they would be at six. And I'm at twelve. Holy crap. I mean, it doesn't help that some of my parts are only twenty minutes. Oh, actually, less than that on some of them. Um, not to mention I, I'm, I suck at some of these things. Um, but anyways... That's kind of it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.